Hi everybody, this is Mr. Matt from the Pike Road Branch of the Montgomery City County Public Library System, and it is storybook time. Now for the last few days, I've been feeling kind of sad and kind of anxious. When I feel sad and anxious, I like to read a good story, because that usually makes me feel better. And we're going to see if a good story can help the character in today's storybook time book. Our character is Dragon, and Dragon is terrible. In fact, he's so terrible, the book is called Dragon Was Terrible. And we're going to see if a good story can make him be a bit less terrible. It was written by Kelly DiPuccio, has pictures by Greg Pizzoli, and was published by Farrar Strauss Giroux. And this is Dragon Was Terrible. Dragon was terrible. Naturally, dragons have a bit of terrible in them, because they're dragons, after all. But this dragon here, super terrible. He stomped on flowers. He played tricks on the guards. What did he do to the guard? Yep, he pulled down his pants. So you can see his underwear. He spit on cupcakes. Who does that? Dragon. That's who. That's not all. He scribbled in books. He threw sand. Who did he throw sand at? Which princess lives in a tall tower and has long hair? Yeah, it's Rapunzel. He threw sand at Rapunzel. And he took candy from baby unicorns. Honestly, that's terrible. The king had had enough. Enough, he said. And he posted this sign. Brave knights, whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift. It shall be a nice gift. Ye shall like it. Signed, His Royal Majesty, the King. And Dragon had actually spray-painted a message on this tower. It said, Dragon was here. Knights lined up to show off their dragon-taming skills. They all failed miserably. And Dragon just grew more terrible. He chased fuzzy yellow ducklings around the moat. He teepeed the castle and he burned every last royal marshmallow to a blackened crisp. The villagers had had enough. Enough, they said. Let's all say enough together. One, two, three, enough! Good job. And they posted this sign. Brave people! Whoever shall tame the terrible dragon shall be rewarded with a gift from the king. It shall be a nice gift, we hope. Ye shall like it, perhaps. And dragon came back again and spray-painted another sign that said Dragon was here again. He really shouldn't spray-paint walls that don't belong to him. Ordinary blokes and lassies lined up to try their hand at taming the dragon. They all failed, embarrassingly so. And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon grew even more terrible. He popped birthday balloons. He drew funny faces on the drawbridge, including a message that said, King is a baby. And he burped in church loudly. Honestly, that's terrible and rude. 
A boy wearing a feathered cap and a look of determination had had enough. Only he didn't say enough like he thought he would. Instead, he sketched a story. The next day, Dragon followed a trail of marshmallows to a shady tree where the boy was reading. The boy spied the dragon out of the corner of his eye and began to read aloud in a booming voice. And then the brave dragon swooped in to save the princess, he said. Dragon stopped in his tracks. But the terrible knight pulled out his wicked sword. Dragon pretended not to listen. The brave dragon roared, and the frady cat knight trembled in his boots. Dragon pretended to walk away. A crowd began to gather, and Dragon took cover in a tree. The boy continued reading. Page after page after page until snap crash dragon landed on the ground with a terrible thud the crowd gasped the dragon roared can you roar with dragon let's do it one two three Roar! Good job. The clever boy didn't flinch. He reached out a hand to the dragon and said, Would you like to hear how the story ends? And just when you thought it wasn't possible, Dragon smiled, and he took a seat beneath the tree with the other children. Honestly, that's adorable. The king cheered. The villagers cheered. The baby unicorn and fuzzy ducklings cheered the loudest of all. At long last, the terrible dragon had been tamed. The end. Hey, wait! What about the reward? Oh, yes, that. The gift was a new friend. A nice dragon, of course. And that's the end of Dragon Was Terrible. It's written by Kelly DiPuccio with pictures by Greg Pizzoli and published by Farrar Strauss Giroux. So really all Dragon needed was a good story to help him calm down. And then he sat and listened to the story with all the other kids. So a good story solved the problem for Dragon. The same way it kind of can make us feel better if we're feeling sad or anxious or maybe even some angry like maybe Dragon was just sort of sad and anxious and he was acting out and doing mean things that he didn't really mean to do because he didn't know how to handle his feelings. And that story helped him to calm down and just be a good friend um, to the uh, young man in the book. Well, I hope you like that story. I like that story a lot. And that's going to do it for Storybook Time today. So we'll see you next time for Storybook Time. Bye-bye.